bomb Iraq to bring it democracy. I want to say peace up, war down. Thank you. Richie Perez. And back to my introduction. I'm going to bring up for Ozzie Davis. And everyone knows Ozzie Davis? Stander, one who stands up for justice. When we the people set ourselves in motion, that is America at its best. Blessed are the peacemakers and all their millions, for they shall indeed be called the children of God. My pleasure now is to bring you one of God's choicest children. His deeds proclaim him as a man most worthy, establishing his credentials in all the earth with peace in all his prospects and healing in his wings and a Nobel Prize for all the good he has done. The great, the much beloved reconciliationist of South Africa, the sure and certain trumpet of the Lord I give you gladly, humbly, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. I want to give you a very warm clap. Let's jo join me in clapping you. Come on. Oh. Thank you very much for coming out when it is not so warm. God is proud of you. God is smiling as God looks down on 1st, 2nd, and 3rd Avenue. God says, hey, aren't they neat? Because God is with us. People marched and demonstrated and the Berlin Wall fell and communism was ended. People marched and demonstrated and apartheid ended. And democracy and freedom were born. And now people are marching and people are demonstrating because people are saying no to war. We say no to war. The just war theory says you need a legitimate authority to declare and to wage war. Only the United Nations is that legitimate authority. Any other war is immoral. The just war 
Paul says, have you exhausted all possible peaceful means? And the world says, no, we haven't yet. And any war before you have exhausted all possible peaceful means is immoral. And those who want to wage war against Iraq must know it would be an immoral war. You know, those who are going to be killed in Iraq are not collateral damage. They are human beings of flesh and blood. They are children. They are mothers. They are brothers. They are grandfathers. You know what? They are our sisters and brothers. For we belong in one family. We are members of one family. God's family. The human family. And how can we say we want to drop bombs on our sisters and brothers, on our children? We said no to communism. We said no to apartheid. We said no to injustice. We said no to oppression. And we said yes to freedom. Yes to democracy. Now I ask you, what do we say to war? No. I can't hear you. No. What? What do you say to war? No. What do you say to death and destruction? No. What do you say to peace? I can't hear you. What do you say to peace? What do you say to life? What do you say to freedom? What do you say to compassion? Well, we want to say, President Bush, Listen to the voice of the people. For many times, the voice of the people is the voice of God. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Listen to the voice of the people saying, give peace a chance. Give peace a chance and let's say once more so that they can hear in the Pentagon they can hear in the White House what do we say to war no. what do we say to peace